Hi, I'm Hans Wilhelm. One of the most asked questions is about astral traveling or astral projection, which is the ability to explore the multidimensional cosmos at will. We are all curious beings and such an adventure of course is very tempting, particularly for the one who is relatively new on the spiritual path. So let's explore it together. Again, we have to remember who we are. We are all spiritual beings who once lived in our pure spiritual home. Here we had many skills and one of that was that we could transport ourselves anywhere where we wanted to be just by the power of thought or intention. It would happen instantaneously. But because of our birth into a physical body here on earth, we can no longer use that skill unless we are asleep, like here. During our sleep, we are often leaving our body and venture into the spiritual spheres, mostly for further schooling and gathering spiritual knowledge, even if we don't remember that in the morning. Our soul leaves our body but stays connected via our silver cord. This projection is a natural event to assist our spiritual growth and development. Therefore, it is law abiding and we are totally protected during such a visit during our sleep. Things are very different when we willfully wish to project our soul out of our physical body. Yes, it is possible to initiate and force such a trip with some exercises or drugs. But if we do that, we have no protection because this is spiritually unlawful. We are on our own. Even our guardian spirits cannot help us on such a trip. Removing our soul willfully out of our physical body can cause great damage to our aura. It could allow foreign influences and entities to enter our aura and even our body. Let's not forget, if we project ourselves out of our physical body, that body is now vacant. There is nobody at home. And a vacant body is a great attraction to any negative earthbound soul or astral being to occupy. Therefore, it is a highly dangerous undertaking. You may want to watch my special video on spirit possessions. But that's not all. We will not be attracted to any high or evolved spiritual spheres. Our still unresolved negative vibration in our soul could attract us to very low vibrating spheres. Here we can encounter negative entities that are only too eager to use us for their own purposes, like drawing energies from us and controlling us. You can compare it to walking unarmed into a really, really bad neighborhood at two o'clock in the morning. Imagine all the shady characters waiting there. Why would anybody want to do that? Just for thrills? Of course, everybody has to make their own choice whether or not they wish to do astral projection or astral traveling. There is no necessity to explore these realms. Any place, any situation or any body who we are meant to encounter, we will meet when the time is right. Curiosity killed the cat, as the saying goes. Astral projection and astral traveling are a dangerous form of curiosity. Thank you for watching.